Good morning, everybody. We're going to go ahead and get started. Thanks for uh, thanks for logging in. Um, we're we're going to keep this really quick. We're going to start doing this every Friday, just so um, seniors know what's going on with like FAFSA updates. Um, my name is Mr. Wilson, and I'm Ms. Amora. And we'll be um, again. We're going to do this really quick. We will record this so we can put it on the uh, the website and stuff. So just so everybody knows, we are recording. Um, all right. Well, let's jump into uh, to things that we feel like all of our seniors need to know about the FAFSA right now, right now, right now. So first of all, we know the first tier was January 31st. We will be moving the tier deadlines because we are experiencing so many issues with the financial aid application with the FAFSA and the CATA, mainly the FAFSA, but just know um, we are moving the tier deadline to February uh, did we decide on the day actually? Like mid February. Mid February. Yeah. The bottom line is do it as soon as you can. Like we know. Um, the second thing we were going to say is that there are several glitches. So if you are doing the FAFSA right now, um, the good news is is that if it's working right, it's actually a lot easier this year than it has been in the past. The bad news is is that we're literally hearing about new glitches every day. So if you hit something that's glitchy stay calm come in and let us know so that we can help you navigate it and sometimes we're not going to know how to navigate it other than just hey it's a glitch we know something weird is going on like just keep checking back and we'll figure it out eventually but um the reason why we're moving the tiers you guys is that we can't verify whether or not you've done the fafsa right now usually the way that we verify that is that um your fafsa when you submit it gets matched to the uh, to the Cal Grant GPAs that we already uploaded. And we logged in and looked at the uh, the California Student Aid Commission website the other day and nothing has been matched yet. So I don't think that they have received any information from FAFSA to be able to match. So basically we're going to adjust the tiers until until they do receive that information and we can start verifying. But if you haven't started yet, please start yeah. for sure. And so just going back with, you know, the FAFSA having several glitches, what is being communicated to us is just, you know, take it day by day. It might work, you know, it might not work one day, but they might be resolving that glitch and then the next day it will work. It's really hard to tell you guys that, but honestly, that's what's being communicated to us. Take it day by day. If it doesn't work one day, try again the next. Um, a helpful tip is clearing your browsing history, your data, your cache, all of that stuff. Sometimes that helps um, some of the issues. But other than that, it's just taking it day by day for now. Cool. Um, one more helpful tip. If, you, um, if you've if you done your part of the FAFSA, you need to sign your part before your parent signs their part. So that's, that is something that we've realized has been a problem with a lot of people's FAFSAs is they will go ahead and send the information to their contributor, which is the word they're using for your parent. And parent will hurry up and do their part because their part's actually pretty easy because a lot of it's going to happen on the back end unless there's something strange going on. And they'll sign it. And then if you haven't already signed it, things get locked up. So you need to sign your part before your parent signs their part. And so on the parent side, they will be asked if their student qualifies for free and reduced lunch. Um, at first, the California Student Aid Commission said that if your school qualifies for it, you push yes. However, just last week, they changed that information and said, although your school qualifies for it, it needs to be on an individual basis. So you just can't put yes. You actually have to see if your family meets the um, requirements. So in order to do that, when the question comes up, there's, there should be a little icon that you can click and kind of look at if your family meets those eligibility requirements. Yep. So one of the issues that we've been running into with some parents, and we just want to let you guys know, is when your parent is doing their part, um, they might be asked to verify their identity. If there's anything strange going on where they're not 100% sure that, um, that that is who they say they are, um, that, that process takes a while. So it's another, another reason why if you haven't started yet, you really need to get going on this because if your parent is asked to verify their identity, they are going to have to call FAFSA, get a case number, and then they're going to have to email them um, a copy of their valid ID and a copy of their utility bill that's in their name and then wait another seven to 10 days. So it's a really frustrating process. And if your parents are going to have to verify their identity, we really want to get them started on that sooner rather than later. And again, like Ms. Moore already said, things are changing day to day. So that process may even change and speed up and not be as, as bad as it is now. But, um, but just in case, if you haven't started yet, please, please, please get going. 
definitely an issue a lot of our students are running into, especially if their parents do not have a social security number. One day the box will be there for them to click that there's, you know, parent doesn't have a social. Another day that that box might not be available. So again, day by day, um, if you are able to successfully move along, it might ask them to verify their account. And that's that process Mr. Wilson was talking about. All right. Um, so, uh, Ms. Ms. Fernandez just said that they're unable to hear and will a link be provided so that seniors can hear this. Yes, we're recording right now. We're going to do this every Friday, like quick five minutes, and we'll drop the recording in places where people can find it for sure. Um, so if uh, another thing that we would want you guys to know about is um, is if you're on the TikToks, I'm not on the TikToks, but um, but there's, I know, this is where I was like, come on now. Um, but uh, but there's a very helpful person or uh, account that you can follow. It's that right there. So at CA Student Aid, how often is she posting stuff? She posts every day just about. And she's, I mean, they're directly from the um, FAFSA CATA organization. So they are giving the most up-to-date information. They're giving the best tips and tricks. Yeah, when they find out about glitches and what to do, that it gets posted really quickly. So definitely worth following if you're trying to navigate this uh, this process. Um, and our last thing that we want to tell you, we will have our next Cash for College on February 15th in the Career Center, 4:30 to 6:30 p.m. You, your parents, your siblings, you're all welcome to come. You do have to sign up using the QR code um, that was passed out during senior check-ins, also in your Google Classrooms because we are buying pizza. So last time we ran out of pizza because not everybody signed up. <laughs> well, that's bad. So, so we sign want to up. make sure to feed everybody and have pizza in it for everybody. And so, come. And yeah. if your parent's experiencing any issues, that's a really good time for you and your parent to come so that they can get some hands-on help. Okay. All right. Okay. That's it for Friday. Yeah, that's it. So thanks for coming to FAFSA Friday, guys. Remember to get going on this sooner rather than later um, so that you can, you can, you know, get this thing done. And if you need help, please come find your counselor or Miss Zamora in the College and Career Center. Thank you. Bye.